what's up people, Dobbs Wars is right here and welcome to another Yu-Gi-Oh! pack opening and today we open this up in Japan but we're going to open up the last one I've got with me and that is the secret utility box you get yourself a chance to obtain one of these six special artwork cards we have the green one, we don't want that one again I love to try and get myself the one if I recall that is um, Zeus I we want Zeus um, there is a lot of other great cards in here. There is Chaos Ruler, which sadly is a banned card. Um, to be honest, I really would not want that card, but I do love the um, sleeves for it, so that would be something that would be very, very nice to obtain. Um, I wish I did buy more of these when I was over there, but like I said, they were quite heavy, and I did not really want to open them just so I can actually have them in my collection. I want to open them with you. But whatever. But remember, these things cost you around about 3,800 yen each. So, and they are mystery. They're pretty much like mystery boxes. Because you do not know what you're going to get until you open up the first box. And then you open up the second box. Please do not be green. Please do not let it be green. Come on. What colour is it? Is it green? It's red. <gasps> is it what I think it is? Is this the one that Drew wants? Yo, it is as well! Holy crap, that is awesome! Now, you may be thinking, what do you mean by the one that Drew wants? Uh, Drew, if you're watching, look at this. Ready? Oh, yeah, boys! <laughs> look at that! Look at her! There she is! When this card came out, this car was only th about three to four quid easily, maybe eight quid. This car now is worth around about 30 to 40 pounds at this moment in time being recorded. I don't have a clue about how much she is worth in this state, but I'm happy to have her. But as well as that, you get yourself a special center card for her archetype. And right at the bottom, wait for this people, oh! you get a pack of 100 sleeves of her, a deck box of her, and the die for her. So you get everything from her. So, shoes! I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is going to be a good box, people. I am so happy I got that box, to be honest. I was hoping to get Zeus, but she is just as good. And, uh, if I remember, there's two cards in here, so uh, we're going to open this up. I wasn't going to keep her sealed anyhow, or I'd actually have it in my collection, in the binder. So what's the other card? Ooh, the Secret Rare version of the inset card. And they've got blue writing as well. That tells you because it's from this set. Lovely cards, people. Very lovely cards. I love them. And she's definitely going to be worth a little bit. I'm sure of it. Look at her though. She's freaking cool as anything. And I remember pulling her from my very first packs when she came out in the UK. <laughs> I sadly did trade her off. Actually, no, I didn't. I pulled myself Exo Sister, um, an Exo Sister card. And somebody had that card. And I actually wanted that card more than anything. So we traded it for that card. So... I still have the English version, and now I have the Japanese version. Cheers! But also you get yourself four special packs from the utility box, so let's see what we can pull, people. Let's have a look. Uh, there's supposed to be a lot, a lot of amazing cards in this set, so uh, let's hope we get something amazing. So we get, of course you get yourself your, like, your mosaic rare cards, you get yourself patchwork. Nice, time seal, that's a good card, that just got unbanned. Bougie, okay. Some champion cards. We got ourselves the diamond. Uh, Dogmatica, I think. Charmer. <sighs> oh, yeah, boy! Ho, ho, ho! This card just got released in the United Kingdom. And this card, if I remember, is going to be a quarter of a century rare card. So, oh, this is nice to see as a secret rare right here. I think this is our second one we pulled, so that's nice. And then we have a Seeper and another Seeper. Okay, so that's great. I'm happy to have a second one of these. That's not too bad. Wouldn't mind getting a different card, but 
it doesn't really matter. I'm happy to get these cards any day. Um, of course, as you guys know, I will be coming. I'll be going back to Tokyo in 2025. Do I think I might see these boxes ever again? Possibly not. They probably will be way more expensive down the line, but you can't win them all, people. All I can say is that is I'm privileged to actually get some of these boxes and open them up on this channel. So, yeah. Be, be grateful, people. Be grateful. We've got some more diamond cards. Gooshies. Vandreds. Okay. Okay, we got ourselves the um, a performing old card, if I recall. Photon. And a Blackwing. Okay. That was it looked that one to me sounds like it was a bit of a dud. But I could be wrong until I look at the codes and see the value of any of these cards. Second to last pack. What can we get? Some more black ring cards. Oh, I have Tamayas. Very nice. Oh, Stone of Ancient Secret Rare. That is nice. And we got ourselves. Looks like a new one of the. Um, Battle Lord Dragons. And nice, we got ourselves a Predaplant card. One of the best Predaplant cards, to be honest. It's a super strong card. But the Secret Rare Stone of Ancients is definitely, definitely, definitely worth it. 100%. Final pack. What can we get? Destiny Hero cards, some Nature cards. Ooh, Apprentice Magician, that's nice. Okay. Okay, that's the new Synchro card. That looks like an Elemental Hero card. And a Rocket. Okay, that's actually not too bad. Now, a lot of people would be buying these boxes just for the actual promo card. They'll probably get rid of the booster packs because a lot of people do not want to pull anything out of them. And more likely they're going to be harder to pull. There might be hard pull rates to get something absolutely amazing. And probably that's why they were quite expensive. Like like I said, 3, 000, about 3,500 yen. They're quite expensive, but hell of it, they're not too bad. They're like the same price that you would get as a legendary collection box. But uh, yeah, I think these are not bad. I think the best pull rate one was definitely the Stone of Ancients and that Gaia card. And of course, our two promo cards that we get. I think there are four best cards we pulled. I don't have a clue how much money I made there, but either way, I'm extremely happy. If you guys enjoyed it, I surely did. Make sure you smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. We're trying to get to 30,000 subscribers. Like I said, if you guys get that happening and you made that wish to come true, I'll be sharing every inch of my body fully bald and donating all the hair to charity. If you guys want to see that happen, make sure you do subscribe and share it to your friends and share it to your family. With that being said, the people I'm salute goes to you guys subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Ooh, baby, let's go! I'll take it any day. I like getting these, these are nice. I don't have a clue what the values are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Ah! Ah!